This is Monday, it's April the 24th, 2023, and our devotional is taken from Numbers chapter 25 today. Our title, Evil Companions Corrupt Good Morals. Now, Numbers 25 brings us to a place called Shittim. It's the staging ground for Israel before that nation crosses the Jordan River and enters the promised land. Now, Shittim, as you're going to find in chapter 25 and verse 1, became the setting of a tragic event, for it was here we read that the people began to commit whoredom with the daughters of Moab. Now, after the suffering and the toil of wandering in the wilderness for 40 years, how could Israel break her covenant with the Lord? Well, as you look at verses 1 through 3 of this chapter, not only did the people commit adultery with the heathen, but they also worshipped and offered sacrifices to their gods. And so we read in verse 3 that Israel joined himself, speaking of the nation as a whole, unto Baal Peor, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel. Now, Baal Peor was the place where Baal, the Canaanite god of fertility, was worshipped. We know from history that the Moabites, the Midianites, and the Ammonites all worshipped Baal, who is also closely identified, by the way, with Molech. Now, portrayed as a bull, the Canaanites sacrificed their sons and daughters to Baal, committing all manner of sexual deviancy in worshiping the idol. Now, because of their idolatry, we read that God's wrath was, verse 3, kindled against Israel. Now, the Lord commanded Moses in verse 4, take all the heads of the people, hang them upon are up before the Lord against the sun, that the fierce anger of the Lord may be turned away from Israel. Now, as you look at verses 4 through 13, we see God's punishment of unfaithful leaders. The people's sins were egregious. And as you look at verses 4 through 5, God's judgment was swift. He placed the responsibility for the sins of the nation upon the heads, literally the leaders of the people. He demanded that they be slain and their bodies hanged in the sun as a warning to the people. Now, as you look at verse 6, we see where one man was so brazen that he brought into his brethren a Midianitish woman, a woman of Midianite. Actually, she was the daughter of a Midianite tribal chief. And she did this, and he did this rather, in the sight of Moses and in the sight of the congregation of the children of Israel. Phineas who was the son of the high priest, now Eliezer, therefore he would have been the grandson of Aaron, we read of Phinehas that he rose and he slew the Israelite man and the Midianite woman. In fact, the Bible says in verses 6 through 8 that he thrust them both through with a javelin. As a result, God's judgment fell upon Israel and 24,000 perished. Now, as you read verses 10 through 13, we are reminded that nothing escapes the notice of God. For the Lord acknowledged Phineas's zeal for righteousness and established a perpetual covenant of the priesthood with him and his lineage. Well, a closing thought for you today. Now, the sin that was committed at Shittim, this really the doorway to the promised land, was so tragic that the names of the couple slain by Phineas were recorded in verses 14 through 15. The Lord also commanded Moses in verse 17, vex the Midianites and smite them. Well, there are several spiritual lessons that you and I might withdraw from today's scripture reading. However, I'm going to limit myself to one. And this is based upon 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 33, where we read, Be not deceived, evil communication, corrupt, good manners. In other words, evil companions, corrupts, ruins, it destroys good morals. The scriptures do not reveal how the men of Israel came to worship the God of Baal and to commit whoredom. However, we can be confident that the proximity of the daughters of Moab provided the Israelites not only a familiarity with them, but also a tolerance of their wicked ways. Indeed, the 21st century church desperately needs young men 
like Phineas, who love God and have a zeal for godliness. And so I ask you, whether you are a believer who is a male or a female, would you commit yourself to be like Phineas and have a godly zeal in this day? God bless you. Thank you for joining me for today's Heart of a Shepherd, and bye-bye.